Well, hello, people. Welcome to the Talos Principle. Uh, I spelt it wrong. It's principal like a vice principal, not principal like principal. Is it principal? Whatever. Welcome to the Talos Principle. It's going to be a puzzle game? At least that's what I have it uh, logged in on as my Steam. I kind of organize things. I go, this is going to be a shooter. This is a puzzle game. So apparently I bought the Patalos Principle a while ago, and it's a puzzle game that I never got to. Oh, you're a little loud. You're a little loud. Um, so all I know is I play as a robot, and I think I get to have a cat at a certain point. That's what Steam has led me to believe. So we're just going to jump right in. I don't know anything about this. And I kind of refuse to learn, so let's play. Uh, I did turn motion sickness, auto prevent. I don't know why, but any game that has that feature probably gonna give me motion sickness. I kind of I get motion sickness real quick. So, uh, what is this? Demo. Apparently, I even have the DLC. I gotta stop buying things. New game. Oh wait, no, I did try this for like two seconds, and I did get motion sickness the last time. Alright, so we're in. Hello? Initializing firmware. Firmware function. Loading child program parameters. Version 99 somethings. System check. Fast. Starting child process. Ready. Am I a bird? Of course I'm not a bird, I'm a robot. There's my robot hand. Ooh. Oh, motion, oh, motion sick. Oh god, oh, just right off the bat. Okay. Well, here it is. This is a beautiful world. Behold, oh. child. You are risen from the dust. And you walk in my garden. Hello? Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker. Is that coming in through my and speakers? I am called Elohim. Mm. Seek me in my temple, if yeah, yeah. you are worthy. Well... See, how do, you, how do you judge that, Elon? That's a very... So I feel like this is, uh... Hey, did you ever watch, um... What was it? Not Transcendence. A robot movie with Poe Dameron with a beard, where it's a guy he he gets he gets asked to come to the company, and then the Elon Musk character is like, "Oh yeah, I built a robot. She's real pretty, and she's she's you know she's real smart. I built AI." So I feel like that's what's going on here. I'm the testing of the AI. So, so is he just is Elon Elon Musk take took me to uh, his his secret. His secret base in Greece, because apparently, you know, it kind of looks like Greece, right? Definitely in the Greek countryside. Take Jammer. All right, this is mine now. I'm taking this. It's mine. Uh, so Elon Musk bought up Greece because he's so he's so crazy rich now. There we go. And now he's testing robots there. Why not? Right? Styling himself like a Greek god. Child basic program calibrate. What the heck is that? Can you see me? The thing looks bad, so I'm gonna jam it. Unless that's part of the test, right? You're supposed to wander around with childlike. Ah, ah. No, that's definitely bad. That's definitely a bad thing. It's definitely a bad thing. Yeah. That didn't work. Okay, well, we made a mistake. Well. That was weird. Alright. So I feel like I wandered around with childlike wonder. But I'm not a child. I'm a man. I'm a human man in a robot body. Do I just, can I, uh, jam? Oh! Okay, well, I guess that's stuck there. It's really cool looking. Spatial awareness, okay. Well, there's a turret. Alright, um. I feel like if anyone was gonna have a secret uh, Greek base, 
It would be Elon Musk. Can I jam that? Oh, I can. Oh, beautiful. A secret base with turrets. I'm gonna have to... Hello? What's my name? You can't just not give the robot a name. Okay, well, everything's... Everything's locked up. Okay. It looks beautiful, though. All across this oh. land, I have created trials for you to overcome. All right, Elon, you got and a little bit of... And within each, I have hidden a sigil. <laughs> It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Okay, so uh, Elon has gone crazy. Uh, he's now styling himself like God. And he, well, technically I guess he's creating life, so maybe? I mean, by the strictest sense of the word. Sentient life, you know, we're sapient. Really unsure about the definitions of those words. Um, let me just look around. Elon, kids, go left. Can I go any more left? No. So let's go left to right in just a step. Uh, Tetris, 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 Tetris. Okay, so those are going to be the sigils. So after all this, I'm going to have to play a Tetris game, a switch out of reach. Okay. Hello? So is it just... Oh, 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 okay. Let's ignore that. Oh, it's such, such a trippy light show. Okay, there's a lever? Okay, so it's just gonna be me being a robot just doing spatial awareness. Do I have to look in, like, cracks and stuff? Because I really don't want to. Alright. Um, how about can I, with this... No. No? How far can the jammer see? Beautiful. So, I kind of want to hold on to that jammer. So maybe we follow this rope. This power rope. And then turn it off. Perfect. So now we should be able to unjam this. There we go. Now, um... How do? How do? Uh... Can I see you? No. Ah! Ah! I think so spooky. Damn. Alright. Floating balls of explosion and turrets. I'm really curious as to why. So beautiful! We got our first Tetris piece at the end the of the game. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys, well... they are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. What it? Hmm. Whoa. Oh man, I can move fast. All right, this is gonna save a little bit of time. This is kind of adding to my. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of motion sickness. I don't know if that's just me. I didn't have enough coffee. Oh look, Elon. After I did this, he ran out here and little spray painted a little X, so I didn't forget. What a nice owner slash master slash deity. You know what? That that's not very fair. Pause for wet noise. I don't find that very fair. Elon Musk seems like a pretty cool pretty cool billionaire. I feel like if anyone was going to style themselves as a god, I feel like that would be... It would be... What's his name? The Virgin Galactic guy, you know? So how... How do? Can I... Can I let this guy out? Is he gonna come right at me? Oh! Okay. Now he's trapped on this side, right? Yeah. He's busy. And now you turn. Done. Job done. Look at my little look at the way my little robot hips sway. Oh. Done. Got another one. Talk to me, Elon. Well done, child. 
Thank you. Only one more sigil is needed. Well. See, I don't like I don't like his uh I also don't like these little little I I probably can't take puzzle stuff through these. Outnumbered. Elon Where are you? I wonder when I get a cat. I think I think that's gonna be a very important striding the beaten path. Ah! Mm. Uh. Okay, so we got a jammer. Okay, go in there. Uh. Get out of here. So that guy's trapped in there now. That's fine. And... Would you look at that? Look how smart we are. We're just full of the genius. Seriously, Elon ran around, chopped the heads off all these statues. I feel like he's Elon. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. I'm kind of, kind of scared as to what temple, like what the temple is. Oh, can I go in here? Hello. It looks like the robot. What? No. Oh, the well. guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them, yeah. for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Well, that's that's wonderful, Elon. Um, oh, oh, did you look at this? Uh, use. Oh my God, this is Tetris. Uh, rotate sigil. Um. There we go. I need to do a little spatial puzzle. Ah, oh. Elon. Is that him? The being made of white light. What's his name? Charles Branson. Why? Why is this? Loading library session done. Mounting local risks. Forty-seven million. Connecting network error. Inaccessible. Loading Milton Library Assistant. Error. Initiating command prompt. Done. Uh. Library archive session. Guest local. Uh. Hello world. Help for a list of commands. Help. Um. List display. Oh man. I'm gonna have to learn robot speak. Okay. Okay. List. Open. Display. Load Milton Library exit. So let's let's see what kind of commands we got. Uh, welcome. Oh, are these are these six? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Welcome. EML. Uh, from Nadia Sarabai Institute for Applied N. Up to Alexandra Drena. Welcome to the team. Hi again. Sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I'm a robot. I know you were serious, but the truth is, so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young, and you've already accomplished so much. If this... Oh, blah, blah, blah. No pressure. Boring ass, boring conversations. Human, human conversations. I'm a robot. I'm above this. Chapter 6. Athena in the Garden of Hesperides. Did... Well, it's a little bit missing. Did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crown of brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber, strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all but all faltered in the final step. For you must know what deathlessness reveals. The mortality you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles gazing upon the stars and wept. Damn, that was, um, very Elon-y. Uh, from Lee 
two uh, numbers. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and the searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Anyway, just rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're all young. You've got loads of time. Love that. Okay, well, uh, run mala. Milton Library Assistant. Done! Hello, guest. How can I help you? Uh, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, understand is a strong way to put it, but yes, your query. Um, well, I'm a robot. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? I'm sorry, I'm only able to process and respond to basic subject, verb, object, syntax. Okay, well. Describe your functions. The Milton Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Hmm. Well, guess what, people? We're gonna have to figure out the Milton Library Assistant tomorrow. I know, I know, I didn't get anything done, but don't worry. It's gonna be a long game. It's a long road to Gehenna. Eh? I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming it's a place. So, maybe someday we'll find Elon Musk and why he built us a robot body and why he built us a robot soul. Eh? Well, this has been... I immediately forgot. Principle? The Talos Principle. I have been your favorite robot, Smash Keys, and you have a nice day.